Hi there, I'm Ray Glasser, speaking to you from Cleveland, Ohio, in March of 2007, and this is my introductory video to YouTube. I've been on YouTube for a couple of weeks now, uploading videos about the Betamax video format, and I thought it's time that I came on camera and told you who I am, what I'm doing here, and where my interests lie. Way back in 1975, my best friend in Columbus, Ohio, whom I'll never forgive for this, showed me this piece of gear at a downtown Columbus department store. It was called the Sony Betamax. It included a 19-inch Sony Trinitron TV and, behind the smoke glass lid, a one-hour Betamax. Here's an overhead shot of the Betamax inside this unit. Now this Beta records only one-hour tapes at the one-hour X1 Beta speed. But this is what actually began the home video revolution way back in 1975. Now the rest of this console has two TV tuners, so you can watch one show on one channel while you're recording a second show on another channel. It also has a mic input and an input for a black and white camera. It's also got a clock, and this is the old leaf style clock that was prevalent in the 70s, so you can time and record a show while you're not home. Well, in 1975, I was working night shift in a restaurant, and I could not afford this big Betamax down here which cost $2,495. When Sony brought out this a year later in 1976 for only 1300 bucks, that I could afford. And this way I could tape shows that I was missing at night while I was working and playing back anytime I wanted to. So with this Betamax, which is a Yassel 7200, I began building my video library. So on June 1st of 1976, I got my first Betamax along with five blank Betamax tapes. Well, there it is, tape number one up on the wall from June of 1976. And between then and now, this is what it grew to. One entire wall of Betamax tapes. I now have 2,500 tapes on this wall here in my video room. And I'm still collecting, although I have to admit now I collect on DVD. But between the 1970s and the early 2000s, this is the way I collected on Beta. Now I have to admit, even though I am a beta collector, I also have a small VHS collection, which is right over here. Many of these are recorded in Super VHS, some are off DVD, and I've got maybe 100 VHS tapes. Many, many of these came from trading over the years when people could not dub the beta anymore, I had to get them on VHS. So, hence, a VHS collection. One. While we're at it, I might as well show my audio and video gear uh, while we're here in the video room. This is my 1973 TIAC reel-to-reel tape deck, which does work. It's one of three tape decks I have, uh, and they all work. And I have a huge open reel collection, so I have to have these working. Under that is, yes, a Laserdisc machine, which plays Laserdisc and CDs. Below that, a dual-well JVC cassette deck. Below that is a Sony surround sound receiver, about 1996 or so. Here is my replay. This is the first replay that was ever offered uh, back around, I think, 2000 and 2001. And down here is a lot of sunlight on my Thorns turntable. That's the audio side. Here on the video side, we have two DVD machines, a Pioneer on top, and below that, a Panasonic DVD recorder. This is thanks to the Betafile Club. Over here is one of my four working betas. This is an SLHF 750, vintage 1986, the Super Beta Hi-Fi. This is the one that has a drawer that opens up, which is only available on this particular machine, which people find fascinating. It actually spits the, cass the uh, cassette tape out and hands it to you. Below that is, yes, my token Super VHS machine. This is a JVC uh, BR378. It's an industrial Super VHS. Below that are three rewinders. And what do we have up here? Up here we have all kinds of stuff. On top is a digital videotape rewinder. Below that, a time base corrector. Below that, a SEMA color corrector. And below that, yet another DVD machine. This is a Philips DVD player. Next to that is my Sony Industrial X1 player. 
This is the SLO383, which handles only beta tapes in the original X1 one hour speed. This machine was 3300 bucks new. I didn't pay that much for it, and it still works. And this plays back all my original beta tapes perfectly. Below that is my other SLHF750, Super Beta Hi-Fi. And below that, my pride and joy, the SLHF1000 editor. At one time, I had four of these. But to be honest, I just don't use the betas that much anymore, so really one is all I really need. And last but not least, my reel-to-reel -reel collection. This is sitting here in my closet and is a veritable history of Cleveland radio. Lots of Cleveland stations here, lots of Detroit stations, and uh, lots of music. Lots of good documentaries, too. Took me, oh, geez, from 1963 to about 2000 to build up this collection. And by the way, for those of you who have seen my SLJ7 demo here on YouTube, and you might be wondering, do I still have this machine? I sure do. It's still here. It still works, but I don't hardly ever use it, uh, mainly because it's not beta hi-fi. It's not super beta, but I can't get rid of it. First of all, it's very, very rare, and as I said in that video, there's a handful of people in the country that have or had this particular Betamax. And number two, it was a wedding gift from my wife, <laughs> so I cannot get rid of this machine. It's still in awfully good shape for a 1980 VCR. So, there you have it. Ray Glasser standing in front of his wall of Betamax tapes here in Cleveland from March of 2007. Now, why am I on YouTube? Very simple. Now I have a way of sharing all these videos, at least some of them, with the world via the internet. I've obviously got lots of stuff on tape since 1976, and now I have a way of showing off some of it to you guys. You've got to bear in mind that when I began in the 70s, there were no video stores, no tape rentals, no DVDs. Most movies and TV shows were not released to the public. So the only way to build a video library was to trade with people from other cities and states, which is what I did. And that's how at least half this library came to be. I'm very, very proud of what I've done over the years with all this. It goes back 31 years now and still counting. And um, I've got a lot of stuff to share. I'll be uploading lots of stuff in the next couple of weeks and months on YouTube. So as they say, stay tuned. There's more to come. From Cleveland, Ohio, Ray Glasser saying, see you again.